welcome back to another edition of common sense with freddy and if you're just joining us on this channel yes don't forget to smash on the red subscribe button below this video and my name is coach wilfred asuko i am a capacity builder what i do is i work in the tech space i coach and train and mentor a lot of young people and transition them into the tech space i move you from linear job to six figure space i move you from um minimum wage to a six figure space so if it is something that resonates with you if it's something that you would love to jump into please check the links below this video and ask all the questions that you would love to ask and we will bring you up to speed so how are you guys doing today i want to talk to you about a follow-up video that i did before that nigerian youths are very lazy yes i can tell you for a fact they are now compare to the population that we have currently the number of the nigerian youths that are maximizing their potentials is quite very low so a lot of them are jackpying when i mean jackpot they are moving to the diaspora but i can tell you for a fact a lot of them are moving away with the laziness syndrome that's exactly what i want to talk to you about and i'm sharing this from the perspective as a coach because i coach several nigerians in australia in america in canada in uk in london everywhere almost 44 countries currently and i can tell you for a fact a lot of them they display serious laziness syndrome yes i can tell you that for a fact and sometimes you wonder why in one of my videos uh, you probably have seen it already i talked about why a lot of nigerians are running away from stem career driven part they rather prefer to get stuck driving uber or taxis they rather prefer to get stuck working as a cna or working in the group home as a direct care worker than taking a shot at becoming an it professional or taking a shot at taking any of the top medical career space or any of those engineering um, global certifications that can stand them out they're not ready to pay that price to exercise their mind to better their career and their future and you'll be wondering why you'll be wondering why so as a coach i see this day to day it bothers me so much some of them go as far as paying me for those sessions where i can you know guide them walk them through hold them by hands to show them exactly what they can do to get into the six-figure space and i can tell you the kind of pushback that i will receive despite the fact that they paid me a lot of money as a coach so you can see while i'm speaking to you with a lot of confidence and you can look at a lot of uh young nigerians here in the diaspora like here in the us if you go to a a religious congregation of 200 i can tell you for a fact 150 will be doing linear jobs and these are the same ones that will tell you about how our creator is wonderful and you'll be wondering is our creator stagnant is our creator living off menial income no we have a progressive and a rich creator why don't you think outside of the box and exercise your mind and get ready to put in the work and then you can grow and that stems me back or pull me back to the only reason why we find ourselves in this predicament we are made to believe that everything that will happen around you is a miracle you can sleep as a poor man today and you wake up as a rich man tomorrow you can sleep as a poor lady today you wake up as a rich diva tomorrow that shouldn't be the mindset of a young Nigerian, or that shouldn't be the mindset of a young youth. That should be nothing close to that. We are supposed to have a mindset of let's put in the work. Let's follow through a process. 
and then we enjoy later that should be our thought process that should be our goal that should be your narrative it is quite sudden that despite the fact that we lived in motherland and we complain so much about why things were not working and here we are in a land that is flowing with milk and honey a land of great opportunities a land where professionals academic scholars are respected and being paid handsomely well why don't you take a part to one of the stem careers especially in the it space and thank me later i can guarantee you when you make that choice laziness will depart from you and you'll be happy you did in case you want to choose any it career path especially as a business analyst data analyst product manager release train engineer agile coach listen these are all it stem driven it's going to give you a lot of six figure in your pocket if this is something you would love to explore please do not hesitate to use the link below this video and reach out to us see you all at the top because the bottom is crowded